Hey again folks, in this little video we're going to be talking about blending parameters. Okay, so on the right here you can see we're drawing two cubes, one behind the other. And the code for drawing this is fairly naive, but also very simple, so we'll have a look at it here. We're doing two drawing passes, and we're drawing two boxes. And the second time round we're passing in this parameter here, which is this oscillating value. And if we go look at the fragment shader, uh, we're using this off oscillating value as the alpha for the color output. Now if our alpha is fluctuating, why can't we see through this first cube, the nearest one, and see the one behind it? And that's because GL doesn't do anything with that value by default. Um, to get it to use it, we're going to have to set some blending parameters. Now, for this example, we're going to use a dedicated object that's going to store these blending parameters, um, and we're going to store it in this variable BP here. So if we make this, you can see that we've got these blending parameters. Now, I'm not going to go through what all the combinations of these do. Um, there's lots of good resources online, um, GL-specific resources that will tell you. Also, I might do some more in-depth videos in the future, but we'll see on if there needs to be any tweaks to the API first. But the main thing to point out is that we are going to be um, dictating the final color based on the source alpha. Uh, so this value we're setting here. And what these blending parameters do is they tell GL how to uh, mix the, the data coming out of our fragment shader with any data that's already in the frame buffer we're rendering into whether this is the default frame buffer or whether this is a frame buffer object you've created and stuck a texture inside. So now we've got this blending parameter object, we need to go use it. And like with the samplers from the last video, this is very easy. So we're going to say with blending and then the parameter object, wrap the block around and compile. Now what we should see is that the alpha value is having an effect over here. And so this object is appearing to become transparent. And that's the basics of it done. Again, this is something that you can easily remove uh, just by killing this block. Let's do that now. Um, so you've got a nice way of experimenting without changing state. But for the stateful side, you can also set the blending parameters um, on frame buffer, frame buffer objects or attachments of frame buffer objects. This allows you to do per attachment blending settings. Um, this is only supported in GL4 and up, but it will gracefully fall back to the settings on the FBO or the settings that have been overridden using a blending params object. This relationship is still um, not perfect. I think it, it's probably a little too complicated in that I can probably find a simpler way of expressing it. Uh, but if there isn't a simpler way that still gives you all the power from GL, then this is how it's gonna stay. So I hope this helps, um, and fire any questions at me you like, and I'll be back with more soon. Thanks for watching. Ciao.